A warm greeting. Today is Thursday, September 7, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 5.30 p.m. local time in the Caribbean. I am recording this video to talk about Hurricane Lee, which has strengthened into a powerful Category 4 hurricane and currently has sustained maximum winds of 130 miles per hour. Over the last 12 hours, we have witnessed a very impressive intensification process with this cyclone. It is definitely something remarkable, with only a few hurricanes in history achieving this level of strengthening in this region of the Atlantic. This aligns well with what has been discussed in recent days, where conditions in this Atlantic region were expected to be highly favorable for rapid strengthening of Hurricane Lee. The strengthening of Hurricane Lee into a Category 4 hurricane marks the fourth time on record that we have had three Category 4 or 5 hurricanes by September 7. This had only occurred in 1933, 2004, and 2005. It's worth mentioning that these hurricane seasons were very active in the Atlantic. Now, it is forecasted that Hurricane Lee will reach Category 5 with sustained maximum winds of 165 miles per hour. Currently, a Hurricane Hunter aircraft is flying toward the hurricane to estimate its intensity more accurately. It is very likely to encounter winds exceeding 130 miles per hour. When we look at the infrared satellite image, we can see that the structure of the powerful Hurricane Lee continues to improve as the hours pass. We observe development and movement in all quadrants of a dense area of thunderstorms, which are signs of systems on the verge of becoming Category 5 hurricanes. In the visible satellite image, we can also see that the eye wall has a lot of lightning activity. These are characteristics typically seen in hurricanes of this intensity and suggest that rapid strengthening is continuing into the evening and night. At least the good news is that it is projected to continue its west-northwestward movement and should pass about 300 miles northeast of the Caribbean. In the 5 p.m. bulletin, the National Hurricane Center did not make any changes to the forecast track. As you can see, the cone of uncertainty is far away from the Caribbean region. However, please remember that a strong surf event is expected to begin this weekend and extend into the middle of next week across the northern Lesser Antilles Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. This surf and strong wave event is likely to cause significant flooding and coastal erosion issues in the long term. It continues to be projected to turn north-northeast, and for now, it appears that it will not approach the eastern United States region. It should pass just to the west of Bermuda. In the long term, by mid-September, we will be monitoring whether Hurricane Lee reaches regions like Nova Scotia, as indicated by the majority of the GFS model members. It might even come close to the New England region. Well, that would be all for this forecast update. Fortunately, at its peak intensity, Hurricane Lee would not be directly affecting land areas. In the Caribbean region, we are very fortunate that it has taken the predicted trajectory for several days now. Tomorrow morning, I will record a new video to provide an update on the forecast and discuss any changes that may occur in the forecast and see how intense Hurricane Lee becomes. With this, I bid you farewell. Until then, take care.